Cool. So I'm going to quickly talk about how to unlock and get Incarnin adapters and weapons in Warframe. So I'm just going to ignore chat for, you know, a little recording. Either way. Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're gonna talk about how to unlock Incarnan adapters and Incarnan weapons in Warframe. Yeah, because the new Incarnan update happened, the Incarnan Genesis, so might as well talk about how to unlock all of that. In order to get the new Incarnan adapters, you need to have Duveri Paradox unlocked and the Steel Path unlocked, because how you farm them is you go to the circuit you click on Steel Path, and then you farm it throughout the week. Every week there is a random, or so I shouldn't say random, every week there are five Incarnate Adapters you choose, and then essentially you farm them up, right? You can choose two to farm out of five every week. One will go on level five, one will go on level ten for the circuit, Steel Path. All you have to do is play the circuit, Steel Path, then you get these items, and then you're good to go. But how do you use those wep weapons? How do you get Steel Path? How do you unlock the very paradox? Well, it'll all take time. Getting Steel Path and getting like Incarnan weapons and adapters, more of a late game end game Warframe thing technically. So new players who are just starting off, just playing the Duveri paradox, probably won't be able to get those yet because in order to unlock Steel Path on Duveri paradox, you have to first complete Duveri paradox, Second, you have to complete all three of these nodes on regular mode at least once. And you have to complete all of the star chart, every node essentially on regular mode at least once. Cause that's how you unlock steel path. You have to do everything at least once. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. You just go to regular mode, origin system normal, have every single map here completed. And that's how you unlock steel path. And then you get steel path just as like a little tag here, right? So that's how you unlock Steel Path and get Incarnate and Adapters in the circuit. It's a huge pain. But once you unlock them, you have to then equip them and put them onto your weapons. So you need Warframe resources and items from Duveri Paradox in order to do that. So you will have to continually farm the Duveri Paradox. Once you do that, once you're fully farmed up your resources, you farmed up your Incarnate Adapters, you go to the Chrysalith in order to apply them. If you've been to the Chrysalith, if you've played through Zeremon, and if you are aware of general Incarnan weapons, you've probably seen this before. Reminder, like, sub, and all that jazz, YouTube, Twitch, right? Because the Zeremon came out around a year and a half to two years ago, something like that, and it's the latest late game Warframe area, essentially. And to get and mess with all of your Incarnan weapons, you have to go to your boy, Cavalero. He's right here. This is where you can buy your original Incarnan weapons. There's, what, five or six of them, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, okay. On Duveri, there's way more Incarnan adapters, but on the Zeremon, there's inherently five Incarnan weapons, right? And they both work kind of the same. You evolve Incarnan weapons here, and that is how you put on the Incarnan adapters onto your weapons. You can see it says if it's Incarnan ready, and all of these are Incarnan ready. So what you would do, you click on the weapon, and you just upgrade it. You need, as you can see, an Incarnan adapter, Skana Incarnan Genesis. You need 20 Pathos Clamps, you need some Dracroot, and you need some Conla Sprout. I assume, yep, for each weapon, it's a little different. These are just general Duveri Paradox resources. Mawfang, you get those by fishing and they have a low drop rate, so these ones suck, but it is what it is. There's a lot of resources to get. When you then upgrade the weapon, you get challenges to slowly upgrade each one of these. The very first upgrade in all weapons will be the evolution. For guns, it's just a headshot charge in Karnan transmutation, alt fire in order to transmute to Incarnan form. For melees, they get a little bit of buff as you can see. Melee damage, sprint speed, bullet speed. And for melees, you have to reach 6x combo and then heavy attack to get Incarnan form. Other than that, once you start upgrading the Incarnan weapons, you'll see the upgrades for them are essentially like straight up base stat increase, as well as like maybe a side stat increase. This one, puncture status, multi-shot, stacks up, right? Spin, uh, sprint speed, direct damage per status type, goes up, right? So there's different builds you can go around. 
and use. This next one, Evolution 3, minus weapon recoil or increased magazine capacity or minus zoom. Not as good as the previous one, but still, right, you'll pick one of those that you like the most. The final one, big damage increase. Remove armor enemy per puncture status, really good. 100% to headshot multiplier, really good. Critical parallel, increase crit chance and crit damage, really good. So incarnate adapters are essentially just a way for Warframe to increase and make older weapons, base weapons, prime weapons, uh, wraith, uh, prisma weapons, just so much better. As you can see, I have two type of Bratton Incarnan weapons right here. Base Bratton has way different damage uh, per evolution than the Bratton Prime. You'll see on the evolution two, increases damage by 24, increases damage by 14, but if I go to the Bratton Prime, it has increases damage by two, increases damage by four. The damage values and numbers are smaller, so they did balance it and they did scale it so that the stronger weapons get a smaller boost and the weaker weapons got a bigger boost, therefore making it so that the weapons kind of fall in line. You can see they have just different uh, with channeled ability active, increased damage by plus 30 with 50% ammo efficiency, whereas the Bratton Prime has increased damage by 38 with plus 50 damage efficiency. So this one gets more damage when channeled and this one just gets more damage outright. This one gets less damage, right, for sure, but on the second one, it also has the multi-shot changed around a little bit. This one has increased damage by 60% with a plus 20 multi-shot. This one has 54% with a plus 20 multi-shot. So that's all I wanted to get across, right, is that they'll have different values. Either way, that's how you can farm up all of the Incarnan weapons adapters, use them to increase and upgrade your weapons. I just wanted to quickly talk about the Steel Path Incarnan shenanigans, because everyone keeps asking me for the Duveri Paradox. It's a new update, so I mean, it makes sense. As always, sub, like, follow, check out all the social medias. Thank you, thank you.